Trump senior advisor Jason Miller joins me now. We'll get to Hillary in a moment. We have no idea what she's cooking up. When you have these hurricanes happen, these are usually things that unite the country. You get bipartisan support. Politicians go down there, they pray, they honor people, they help deliver the goods. Why was Donald Trump there and Joe was at the beach house and Kamala in California? Because it's important that we show that America still has a leader, that we have someone, a president, former president and future president, who cares enough to show up and tell people that they matter to him, that it matters that their homes have been destroyed, that it matters that they've lost loved ones, that everything they own has been wiped out. And for millions of Americans, President Trump is still the leader of this country. It's not Joe Biden. He's at the beach. It's not Kamala Harris. She's in San Francisco at a fundraiser raising money. The person who showed up, partnered up with Franklin Graham and Samaritan's Purse, fantastic organization, someone who's actively helping to raise money online for these victims right now is President Trump. We need a leader back in the White House. Now they're saying you're playing politics with this. Uh, you know, they're giving North Carolina, Georgia, Florida, everything they need. Joe says he's managing everything from Rehoboth Beach because he has a phone. How do you react to that? Well, Joe doesn't even know what day it is, uh, in fairness. And how is he managing things while he's on the beach? That doesn't seem to make any sense. And Kamala Harris, man, I loved in the monologue when you pointed out, at least Bush looked out the window. But Kamala Harris, the only time that she shows up for anything is to vote in favor of some record-setting inflation bill or to open up the border. Otherwise, she's completely AWOL as well. I wonder who's running the country. We saw Jill Biden host the cabinet meeting a week or so back, but we have to get someone back in there because, Jesse, we're not going to have a country much longer unless we secure our border and turn the economy around. You know, she runs away from Washington when Netanyahu comes around. She runs away from the Al Smith dinner. She doesn't do press conferences. She's not on the ground in North Carolina where she should be. D does Donald Trump notice that, that power vacuum? Is he saying, I'm just going to step in here? Well, absolutely. And the other thing, too, if, if I'm someone who lives in North Carolina, if I'm someone who lives in Georgia, who's witnessing all of this destruction, epic destruction, and Kamala Harris is yucking it up with a couple of NBA players on a podcast, not taking things seriously at all, well, she won't even fly back from the West Coast because she wants to hang out with her rich liberal buddies in San Francisco. That's offensive, and it's a slap in the face. But we saw with President Trump, just as he went to East Palestine first, just as he's gone and done disaster relief uh, when he was president and when he showed up and he, that he cares, he's actually leading from the front. If you can't show up to a disaster, especially when you're the sitting president or sitting vice president, it's a disgrace. Well, you have to explain that the community banks are in the community. Uh, holistically speaking. <laughs> uh, because, well, she is unburdened. Uh, by Very what, unburdened and very she's unburdened. from a middle class family. Thank you so much, Jason Miller. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.